In this video, we are going to discuss the setting reaction of dental amalgam. Let's first revise the setting reaction phases. Gamma is the silver and tin phase. Gamma 1 is silver mercury phase, whereas gamma 2 is tin and mercury phase. Eta and epsilon are copper and tin phases. Gamma is the strongest of all phases, whereas gamma 2 is the weakest. Let's start with the setting reaction of low copper or conventional amalgam alloys. In low copper amalgam alloys, we have silver and tin alloy which reacts with mercury as a result of which gamma 1 phase which is silver and mercury and gamma 2 tin and mercury and the unreacted silver tin which is the gamma phase is formed. Here is the animation showing the setting reaction of low copper amalgam alloys. In the picture, the dark blue is the silver tin alloy and the green one is mercury. Now, as the reaction occurs between silver tin and mercury, the crystals start precipitating out in the form of phases and gamma 1 phase is the first one to precipitate out. The solubility of silver in mercury is less as compared to tin, so gamma 1 phase precipitates out first and then gamma 2 phase is formed. This is in yellow is the gamma 2 phase. Here is the final set matrix of the low copper alloy in which we have the unreacted silver tin alloy which is gamma phase. Gamma 1 is the filler in the matrix. Talking about the gamma 2 phase, gamma 2 phase basically is the disadvantage of amalgam. It is the weakest of all phases and it corrodes rapidly and due to corrosion voids are formed. So high copper amalgam alloy was introduced in order to overcome the gamma 2 phase to have better strength of amalgam. High copper amalgam alloys are classified into admix alloys and single composition alloys. Now in admix alloys we have silver copper eutectic alloy powder which is added to low copper or conventional silver tin alloy. In single composition alloys each alloy powder have the same composition. Now studying the setting reaction of admix high copper alloys. Here is the setting reaction as a result of which we have gamma 1 phase, gamma 2 phase, gamma phase and the unreacted silver copper alloy. Now the secondary solid state reaction occurs between the gamma 2 and the silver copper eutectic alloy in order to eliminate the gamma 2 phase. Gamma 2 phase is replaced by eta phase. Eta phase surrounds the silver copper eutectic alloy. Here is the animation showing the setting reaction of high copper admix alloy. As you can see in the picture, we have silver copper eutectic alloy in the circle above. As the reaction occurs between the alloys and mercury, phases starts to precipitate out. Here we can see we have gamma 1 phase and gamma 2 phase. Gamma 2 phase reacts with the silver copper alloy and gamma 2 phase is replaced by eta phase. So we have silver copper alloy which is surrounded by eta phase. Moving on to the setting reaction of single composition high copper alloys. Here is the setting reaction as a result of it we have the gamma 1 phase which acts as a filler in the matrix. The eta phase which surrounds the silver copper eutectic alloy, gamma phase in the form of the lathe cut and epsilon phase is present in the gamma phase. Here is the animation showing the setting reaction of single composition alloys. As the reaction occurs between alloy and mercury, phases are formed. The eta phase of single composition alloy surrounds the silver copper eutectic alloy and it consists of meshed rod like crystals. Gamma phase is present as a filler in the matrix and epsilon phase is present within the gamma phase. Gamma 2 phase is not formed in single composition alloys.